Next block is M6, and um, this is straight from the book. We're going to be dealing with this octagon in the center, surrounded by the squares, and then framed in with a border. So the assembly is going to start with the octagon, and then I'm going to attach the squares and then we have these trapezoids that we will attach. I numbered, or excuse me, I marked my letters on my triangles because I have a directional fabric, so I wanted to make sure that it ended up in the same spot that it was supposed to. So, um, and then we've got these borders. So what I'll do is I will assemble this center section and then I'll attach, I'll, I'll make these one piece and then attach it to this center square same thing here, attach these two together and then put it on the center square and then I'll make a row out of this. I'll make this unit and then put these on either side and then attach it to the center. So it's essentially like a nine block, a nine patch block. Just this is, you know, a little bit off. But anyway, so we have my um, stuff is laid out already and I have my octagon. I'm going to, I'm going to base my octagon. I'm going to start every other side and then every other side from there. That'll give me a tighter fit around the corners. Uh, squares, I'm always going to do opposite sides and then opposite sides from that. Um, the triangles, I'm going to baste so that my tags go away from the center. So I'm going to do these first and then this one. And I'm going to do these one at a time because I want to make sure that I don't mix them up. So um, when I do this, I will baste this and then I'll base my squares and attach them. I have a directional background as well. So I'm going to be real careful about making sure that everything stays in the same direction. So I will get started assembling my center unit. So I've basted my octagon in one of my squares and you want to make sure, I'm going to make sure that I have it in the right direction because I have this little flower that needs to be in the right direction. So I'm going to attach this now and then move to the next one and then attach the other three. So I've got all four squares attached and I confirmed that my flowers are all going in the same direction. So then I'm going to attach these one at a time. I'm going to base these sides first and then these and I have directional fabric on this one as well. This one is going to go, the lines are going to go like this. I made a conscious decision to do that when I cut it out. So I will uh, get these basted and attached as well. So I've basted this piece here and I've attached this one down here. So this is here like in the direction it needs to be in. So it's a matter of just making sure I place them in the right order. So I've got all of my trapezoids put on the middle. So, and so now the next thing to do is these little triangles. I'm going to baste and attach one at a time so that I make sure that I keep them in order and in the right location because of the directional thing again. So and I will um, base them. I'll base these sides first and then I'll base this so that my tags point away from the center. So I've attached this corner and I've basted my next one. So that's what you should they should look like. And I will get to attaching the remaining three. So I've basted and attached all of my corner triangles for my center unit. So I've completed my center unit. And now I'm going to uh, baste and connect these two bars on this side and then these two bars on this side so then I can attach them to my center piece. So I've basted and stitched both of these bars together on each side. Now it's time to attach them to the center portion. So I've got the sides attached now and so now I'm going to baste these squares down here on this bottom row and these rectangles so I can connect these and make a row out of this. So I've connected these two bars into the rectangle and basted the squares on the corners. So now I will assemble it into a row. So I've assembled my bottom row and I've confirmed that my fabric is all in the same direction. The little flowers are going the same way. 
So I'm going to attach this to the bottom of the center portion. So I've attached the bottom row to my center section. And so this is what the front looks like at this point. And now it's a matter of assembling these two together and then basting the squares to form the top row. So I've basted all of my pieces and I have sewn together my two rectangles to make the center unit. And so now it's a matter of putting on the blocks on the end to finish the row. So I've assembled my top row and my flowers are all going in the same direction. And these are going up, so we're going to attach this to here. So I've attached the top row of my block to the rest of it. And now my M6 block has been completed.